Hello? Hello? Is anybody around? Hello? 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 Is this the repair shop? Hello? Hello? Is anybody around? Here I am! Oh, Pop hello. goes the weasel! Uh, well, I got this chainsaw here. What that thing's it? old, man. That thing got to be 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old. Uh, actually, uh... That probably caught George Washington's tree down. Well, I don't think they had chainsaws back that far. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, a buddy of mine gave it to me. I was wondering if uh, you'd show me some tips on how to maintain it. He must not be a very good friend. Uh, I have some tips on how to, uh, on how to work on them things, and, uh... I can run through them on a, a lot newer chainsaw over there on my workbench. Uh, that'll be twenty-five ninety-five. Let me get my wallet. Oh, I left it in the truck. Okay. Uh, I'll be right here. here. All right. I'll Knock on the door when you want to get in. Okay. Pterodactyl here. Going to show you how to do some basic chainsaw maintenance on a chainsaw. Now you got to remember that a chainsaw is like a hot chick. It's high maintenance. Woo! Boy, she is high maintenance. And if you break it, it can be real expensive and she'll leave you. So what I want to do is show you. Take off this gas cap and I want to show you. Now this is a customer saw. I want to show you how much crap boogers is inside this gas tank. Now what I do is I got me a paint strainer done here, doohickey. About 10 cents feet rigged up in this funnel here. Now, when you're cutting, every time you cut and you open this up, a little bit of sawdust, boogers get in there. See all that junk that got in there? A lot of people don't know this, but there's a fuel filter inside this tank. There's a fuel filter right there. You can make yourself one of these tools, a piece of coat hanger. Replace that. That's very important. You need to replace that often. Now, if we could shine a light inside there, you'd see there's a lot more sawdust in there. So what you need to do is try to get as much gas as you can out of this thing. And if you got air compressor, blow it out. Now you can do the same thing for an oiler too. You can dump it out, get all them boogers out. Put a new fuel filter on there. You should do this quite often. Another thing you need to remember with chainsaw is you got to keep fresh fuel in it. That's very important. Got to have fresh fuel and don't be afraid to run high octane fuel. It ain't going to hurt nothing if you run high octane. And always, always use a good grade of two cycle oil. Don't go cheap. Don't buy cheap oil because you're going to ruin your chainsaw. That, that, that $1 or that 99 cent bottle of oil, that cheap oil you buy is going to cost you more. Or you can buy this product. They make a product. They make it under a bunch of different names. And this is 94 octane. It's already pre-mixed, two cycle oil, and it has no ethanol in it. It's got no alcohol in it. What that alcohol do is that alcohol will work against the two cycle oil Plus, it'll also make chainsaw run real hot. And this has got a real long storage life. So if you if you buy this, if you're the kind of guy that don't use the chainsaw very much, you might want to buy this, put it in there for you know whatever this costs, eight, nine dollars a quart. It'll it'll make your saw uh, start easier and run better when it's stored for long periods of time. If you do store your saw for long periods of time without using it, then dump out the gas and then go mix up fresh vats two cycle oil and put it in there and you'll get that thing running and then always leave fuel in it too don't dump it out and run it dry that's bad because that alcohol dry everything up inside chainsaw and you don't want to do that and plus always uh most of your better grades of two cycle oil have stabilizer in the oil already so you don't have to add any kind of fuel stabilizer 
But fuel stabilizer, all that does keep the gas from getting gummy. It ain't going to keep it fresh. It still gets old. So dump it out, mix up some fresh, put it in there, and that'll help you a lot with any kind of hard starting or any kind of other problems you're having with starting it. Fresh fuel is very important. Another thing you need to do, keep make sure that air cleaner's clean. That's very important too. Take that thing out, blow it out. You got a compressor, blow it out. Or go buy a new one. Another thing with the chain. Got a compressor? Blow this thing off. Keep it clean. Ain't gonna hurt you. Some people don't know which way the chain goes on, which way the cutting edge goes. A lot of times they got a little picture on here. This one, I don't know. They got a picture on here? I don't see no picture on here. So I'm gonna do. But you always wanna remember zoom in. See them cutting teeth? See how they are? They always point away from you. They're like this, like a ninja. Chop, chop. That's how they cut, like this, like this. So that's what you want to do. You want to keep them in front of you like that. And another thing you need to know, every time you put chain on here, whether you put a new chain or take it off and sharpen it, and it tell you this, it tell you all this in the book. Well, you know what you can do with that book? That manual they give you? You know what people do with that? You might as well just take that in the bathroom. No, no, not reading material. You know, you use that manual for something else. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, every time you take the bar off, flip it. So you get even wear on each side of the bar. People go, well, the letters are upside down. That don't mean nothing. And you get you gotta keep this groove clean. Now they make a tool. You can buy this chainsaw store. This is a groove cleaner. Or you can make one if you're crafty. Run that down that groove. Look at look at all them boogers. Look at that. All coming out of there. Look at all them boogers coming out of there. Look at that. That'll help get that oil coming out of that oiler. Keep that chain nice and oiled up for you. Look at that, get that cleaned out. Clean all that off. Now, there's little tiny holes in here. That's where the oil goes through the oil change. You need to make sure them are clean. And again, if you got air compressor, blow it out. Just like a hot chick, you take care of your sauce, she'll take care of you. That's what hot chicks do. So, put it on, every time you put one on, because you know when you're cutting, you're pushing like this, this is the wood. I'm gonna cut my arm off, uh, this is the log, log arm. You're cutting, you're pushing, the chain is pushing out here, so it's gonna wear here. So if you keep flipping it, you're gonna get even wear on that bar. You can tell this guy here, he ain't doing that. Look at that, look at that blue, that's done turn blue, cause it got hot, cause they ain't getting a bunch of oil on it, cause he ain't keeping it clean. You gotta keep it clean. And there's your dinner.